Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everybody. I'm back with another video here today. Today we're going to be making alu purata. Um, this is especially for that one viewer that kept on commenting in one like my other videos that they want me to make alu purata. Um, he lives in Colorado. I just wanted to say that, put that out there, that I'm going to make this for one specific viewer. But you guys can try it too as well. It's made for everybody here that's watching it. But before we start the video, I just wanted to thank you all for all the subscriptions that you guys like for subscribing to me, liking the previous video. Um, if you haven't watched the video and you're new to the channel, please watch that video and then you can watch this video. Or it doesn't matter, you guys can watch this video than that video. But I definitely recommend you guys should watch mo more of my other videos if you haven't yet. Because I want you guys to try a lot of things that we've been making in this channel and I just wanted to say that thank you guys for all that make sure you guys are staying safe from corona and everything hope you guys are doing well um, yeah enjoy the video so first things first you guys want to get is you guys want to get you a pretty big like uh, bowl well count this as a bowl and a pot well I think it's like both but we're gonna take flour all-purpose flour right here we're going to grab two cups of all-purpose flour oh that's like half a cup so <laughs> i haven't worked with flour in a while <laughs> holy crap okay that should be good that's two um two cups also i'm using a teacup oh who wants to look at that famous artwork by uh, me anyways we're gonna put in our atta which is flour right and so after you're pouring your um, arta, all, um, flour, all-purpose flour, we're going to make like a little hole right here. Pretty big, decent size, you know, just like, because we're going to put in uh, three teaspoons of olive oil. There you go. So that's one. No, tablespoons, I mean. Two, and then three. There you guys go. So basically this, oh, shoot. I dropped a little bit of the cumin seeds. It's all right, it's gonna mix all together. We're just making a little hole so we can put all that masala in. Oh, spices, I'm gonna, there you go. So we have black pepper, salt, and gutta masala, seven spices. So this is one pinch, this is a teaspoon, and this is half a teaspoon. So make sure you guys um, remember that, all the spices. And we have red pepper, and we have red crushed pepper. And they're both one teaspoon. Uh, basically, it's cayenne pepper, the red pepper. We're going to add a teaspoon of cumin powder, a teaspoon of coriander, and one pinch of turmeric powder. It doesn't matter if you guys drop it around, because we're all going to mix it together. Now we're going to add kasori methi. I don't know what you say in English, but we have two tablespoons of kasori methi. Now we are going to add two tablespoons of mint. So we have mint growing in our backyard and we decided to put that to use. So we have two tablespoons of mint. We uh, cleaned them out, we um, rinsed them, and as you guys can see, we kind of like drained them. So next things next we are going to add is our two chili. So we have chilies right here that we mashed together. And like, you know, this garlic thing when you mash together. So we have two chilies, we're going to add those together. Two green chilies, just to be exact. There you guys go. Uh, we chopped them and we also mashed them together. Now, after um, putting all your spices in, we are going to add three potatoes. We cleaned them, we um, peeled them, and we also mashed them. So, make sure you add your three potatoes. And after that, we are going to add some cilantro and we are going to uh, mix it. We're gonna add a little bit of cilantro. Well, maybe like three or four handfuls. Two or three uh, handfuls. And now, we are going to mix it well. You see, I have this hand problem, so I'm gonna have my mom or my sister um, do it for me. So as you guys can see, I'm gonna have my mom mix it for me because uh, my hand problem makes me like sting and stuff. And we also have water. Use as needed. So if it's too dry like that, to moisturize it and bring it all together. Because we're making a dough out of this for roti, basically like a parata, how I said earlier. So we're going to mix it all together and then it's going to be kind of like a panned out bread. And we're going to make a dough out of it. So as you guys can see, 
Your consistency of the dough should like look like this so far. We only used one cup of water because that's all we needed. We only needed as much as we needed. So it all came together and now we're gonna leave this for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, most likely 10 minutes, but like we're gonna like leave it and dry it out, you know? And then after that, we're gonna cook it and then show you guys how to cook it. All right, so as you guys can see, I'll be making my own uh, roti. So I'm gonna roll the dough. So first thing you guys are gonna get, you guys are gonna get like this size of um, dough. And now I'm gonna like flip it, whatever. And then what you guys wanna do is you guys wanna make a little ball and then we're gonna like put it inside the um, thing, right? And then we pat it down like this and then make like a little uh, uh, roti kind of like burrata thing. And then after that, my mom can roll it out, which you guys want to have like a little circle shape of your uh, dough. And now we're going to roll it. We're going to put this on our pan. There you guys go. Actually, we're going to cook this for like one or two minutes on this side and then flip it and then cook it for one to two minutes on the other side until it gets golden. I'm gonna roll this one at the same time I'm cooking the other one. So I'm pretty sure time has passed, so I'm gonna flip our uh, put off right now. So gonna... Boom. You guys can see? It's golden. Wow, this looks good. Now we're gonna flip it. Oh wow, this looks really good. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil because this part's a little there you guys go. There you guys go. Wow, look at that, guys. It looks really good. And now, after we're done cooking it a little bit on this side, we're gonna. Now, as you guys can see, it's cooked on both sides. So now, it's ready to eat. But right now, I'm going to cook the other paraka. So. So in the meantime, while we're cooking our paratas, we're going to make lassi. So we have yogurt right here, and we have one teaspoon of, half a teaspoon of um, salt, and we're getting half a cup of ice as well. And we are going to add a little bit of milk to like fill it up. So that should be good. Now, all you do is you put your blender cap on, or if you're doing it the other way, you put the cap on, and then... Yeah. Well, unless he's done, our product is done, and now we are going to try it for you guys. So, as you guys can see, we finished our uh, product, and we also have our um, homemade lassi as well. So, we're going to try the product. Um, before I um, eat it, Make sure you guys please like and subscribe. Hope you guys um, enjoy the video. And yeah, enjoy the video. Sorry. Wow. This is really good. This is like, it's not too spicy. It's not too, um, it's not too like dry. It's like perfect. It's golden, it's crispy, and it's very soft too. And you can taste the potatoes from the spices, definitely. Now I'm going to try the musty. So. Wow, this is actually really good. Wow, perfect. So you guys can also drink the lassi by itself, or you guys can... Um, eat the burrata with the lassi so that's basically burrata and yogurt tastes really good i promise you if you guys try this perfect anyways um hope you guys enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace